make sure they even had cut a tree down here at that point. So, uh, and there's an interesting story about how the two systems came together. Um, again, at that time in the late 60s, all the school systems were starting to integrate. And uh, Perry Harrison, which the media center is named after him here in Northwood, um, he was the superintendent and a uh, uh, great gentleman. I got to work with him as a principal. And he had to submit a plan to Washington on how they were going to do it. And this is a story he told me that the plan had to, was submitted twice and rejected. And Washington said, Yo, no, you have to get the kids from Siler City bus to Bennett and Bennett bus and this and that. He said, you can't do that. So finally, after the second rejection, he asked them to come down to Chatham County. This was before a lot of roads were paved. I guess 64 and 15501 were paved, but they weren't four lane. And they um, came down and he spent the day riding them around, probably in a non-air conditioned car, along a lot of dirt roads. And they got back to the, 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 the county office, which was then um, in another building off the old courthouse. And, um, they said, your plan's approved, and realized that you just couldn't bust those kids all over the place and, and all, and um, that the plan in place that the old Chatham High School became Chatham Middle, Horton High School became Horton, and things did fall in place as far as proximity in schools, and so the, the, the two systems were merged um, that first year. I laugh sometimes, I don't hardly even remember that I didn't start to school that way. Because by the time I was in middle school, you know, I played sports and my teammates were black and white. And it seemed like by the time we had gone to Northwood, I don't know that anybody even consciously thought about the fact we had not been together before fifth grade. Yeah, I just didn't sense any of that tension in high school. I think Par I think, and this is often true anyway, I think, I think parents had more trouble than the kids did. I think parents were afraid of the unknown, and I think once kids, we kids got there together, we just sort of felt like it was, it was okay. And um, football at that time, we called it the glory days because it was, it was great. Uh, I mean, it, everybody was happy all the time. It, we were winning, and it was just great. I mean, the the, the whole it, town would come out when they were re winning a lot. Um, yeah. The s cars would be backed up on the street um, over where the sheriff's office is now. We lived right across the street and cars would be parked sometimes all the way up to the courthouse. It yeah, was just a and then all the way down. Friday nights. Yeah, it was it just was a, a different era. This is just a fact of life of, of any school you go to. You win and everybody's happy. And uh, of course I wasn't on the varsity at the time, but they, they won and, and, and uh, that first year, and that made a big difference. You know, if you were 0-10, that could have triggered different feelings. So, um, in that sense, it was a blessing that uh, that the team, the team, the two schools came together and beat just about everybody. So my mom and and my twin brother attended the game, but we did not get out of the car. We watch from the car because of the tension at that time. And so my mother felt that it was safe for, for us to stay in the car. And actually my dad kind of coached her into, mm, you might, y'all just stay in the car. I was young, I probably second, third grade, but I knew it was a big deal to my dad um, because the, the conversations leading up was all about this game and the tension and, you know, the ultimate goal was for Northwood to win, but also for everybody to be safe 
and have a peaceful outcome. It could be a counterpoint, you know, because Northwood was new, you know, integrated school. It was a lot of tension. And so I feel like this football game helped to ease some of that. One of Northwood's um, Hall of Famers for athletics played on that football team. His name was Johnny Richardson. And he was a big part, he was a leader on the team. And he and then a couple of the guys kneeled in the center of the football field. And then everybody else kind of kneeled and came together and said, look, we can do this. Johnny was just a success story. I mean, he he uh, he came over from from Horton, and he was an exceptional athlete, uh, a good student. He had opportunity. He told this story at, at my father's funeral that uh, he got a letter, a, a scholarship offer from North Carolina State from from Lou Holtz, and Johnny was going to throw it in the trash and said, "I don't want to go." Daddy got it out of the trash. And my father got out of the trash and sat him down and said, "Son, this is an opportunity for you to." It's going to open so many doors for you. I really think you should take it. You should you should do this. And he did. He accepted it. And he went to North Carolina State and uh, played in a couple bowl games, was successful, got a, a degree, had a, a wonderful career at IBM. And it's just, uh, you know, very, very uh, fitting that he was inducted into the Hall of Fame because he was, he was one of the first Northwood leaders. leaders on the field, you know, in the classroom, in the community. Uh, he was just, uh, he was the face of that, that first team. He was the face of that first team. The week leading up to the championship game against uh, Jordan Matthews, I mean, the atmosphere around the high school and community was, uh, it, you know, it was hot. And, you know, that, uh, back then, uh, uh, Northwood and JM was, I would say the rivalry was more intense than it is today. Um, and, you know, it was just a lot of chatter going on and dragging. And that game, um, from, you know, being a senior that year and just playing in that atmosphere and, and just looking to see that both sides of the bleachers were just, were just jail packed. And uh, the game going down to the wire. Um, because I think we scored the last two minutes in the fourth quarter and we didn't think we did anything. After, you just said, Peachy, and that book after that, after that uh, meeting, it was just jubilation. Jubilation. Mm -hmm. That that win really, really sealed the deal for North Korea as far as uh, the the merger of the two schools, and, you know, the integration of the two schools. Uh, over a two-year period, to be able to do that, uh, my career was amazing. It was amazing. I just think that's one of the, you know, things that football team, um, you know, made the community come together and, and you know, believe in each other and trust each other. That game kind of propelled or open eyes of people to say, we can coexist. This is gonna be all right. We just won a championship. This is gonna be all right. I think that the football team and the mentality they had and just the approach they took was, we're, we wanna be a team. We wanna to come together. We don't, we don't see you not, uh, as a black person or a white person. Uh, they were just football players. Uh, I think that rubbed off on me early and it was something I kind of took with me the rest of my life. I, re I realized that that was uh, a life lesson. So I think that a lot of people got life lessons about integration from the way the football team handled the situation. I mean, it was just, it was a, it was a team, like a family. It wasn't, it wasn't black, it wasn't white, it wasn't Horton, it wasn't Pittsburgh, it was Northwood. I guess we spent so much time 
you know, two or three weeks before school started as a football team. We sort of gathered that morning because we were supposed to assemble the gymnasium. So, and the football team was the last ones to go into the gymnasium. But when we walked, <coughs> excuse me, when we walked in, they had chairs on the gymnasium floor. But when we walked in, all the white kids were on one side of the bleachers, or the black kids were on the other side. And some of the football players, we just turned at each other and looked and sort of chuckled, you know. <laughs> so, and so we just went and sat down in the seats that were on, on the uh, floor, and the rest of the student body just came in and just yeah, yeah. We, we developed a, a bar pretty quickly in the football team. Uh, and I think it was because. The, the competitive nature that Coach Shane and the coaches uh, put forth to us because that competitive nature made us uh, respect each other as individuals, as players, which we respect the coaches. And I, and I think they knew that in order for us to be successful, that first of all, we had to respect each other as individuals. And uh, I think that's why we were successful, you know, so soon uh, as a football team. He is 70 through 72 at Northwood High School. Uh, shaped my life in a positive way.